Hey there, this is Coco Stern, and we're going to do an afterthought of DMC for the PC. So we did Bice Beginnings as I started out uh, with the game, and now I've finished it, and I want to tell you what I think about it after I finished it. So we're going to discuss all the parts that we did in the Bice Beginnings. The first thing was the graphics and the flare. So there's tons of flare, and it's sparkly, and it's kind of annoying, but that's just me. I dislike that. Specifically, in terms of art direction and art style, it's very nice. Every level is kind of differentiated and, and different in its own way. And uh, they do it very nicely. They do. Now, in terms of the story, it's pretty not amazing. It's kind of obvious. I'm not going to spoil anything. It's kind of obvious. Um, and, you know, in, in terms of a DMC game, it's preposterous to begin with. So I don't feel... I'm not expecting too much, but uh, it would be nice to make the characters a little more believable and less just, I mean, I'd, I'd expect more of a reboot. They're doing a reboot, they're changing up a lot of things, at least you can make it badass in, in an interesting way and not a little bit less, less like a DMC game and still kind of lame and, and obvious. But that's just how I feel about the story. Now, the, the third thing we want to talk about is uh, the mechanics, the fighting itself, the most important thing, really. And in Vice Beginnings, I said that I didn't really connect with it um, because I had to hold down the button and it was weird and different for me and there was no lock-on. So I still don't like the fact that there's no lock-on, but I did change up to um, pressing a button and now it stays like that and I have to toggle that. It's more comfortable for me specifically. It might be different for you. But I have gotten used to it, and it does work pretty nicely. I still, with all that said, I still would prefer the lock-on mechanic and changing weapons specifically. So that's in terms of getting used to it. Everything else, it's pretty, it's, it's fun. It's an awesome, it's an, a good action game. It doesn't get repetitive too, too, um, too fast. There's a ton of things that you could do. There's a ton of combos. There's a, a high skill level of getting to use everything, knowing what to use and actually doing it properly. And you can definitely have a lot of fun with this and, and keep going. Now, the last thing we want to talk about is the length. And the thing is, I finished the game, it took me, the client was on for 11 and a half hours, the game itself took me seven and a half hours. So it's an eight hour game in terms of one playthrough. The thing is, in a DMC game, you don't play it once. You play once and then you go to higher difficulty levels and higher difficulty level because you don't finish everything. You don't find all the secrets in one playthrough and you don't finish off your HP gas. You can buy upgrades for it to, to have it bigger and you don't even finish getting all your moves set. So you can replay it. The thing is, personally, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. With DMC4, like I said, and by the beginnings of DMC4, I played to death. I played everything, I had everything and because I really, really enjoyed that game. This one, um, it was fun, but I'm not sure I'm gonna keep going. And for, you know, eight hours, that's not quite a lot. So the question is, should you buy this game? Should you get it as a good action game? And it, it really, really depends. I'm not even gonna put aside, have you played DMC before? And do you hate the new stuff? Or is it just an action game that is a pretty good action game, you wanna play it? I'm gonna put it right down to length. You should play the demo and find out if you get used to the, to the system. If you do and you like it, then you're going to play it more than once and then you should definitely buy it. If you don't entirely love it and you want to just play it once, I'm uh, not sure you should buy it for the 8 hours or maybe 9-10 hours it'll take you to finish it. But other than that, overall, great action game. Pretty much what you'd expect. It was fun, it was entertaining. Um, the bosses were really easy, incredibly easy, actually, which is another point you should probably say. The bosses are really, really freaking easy. And, and it's kind of lame that they are so... just, you know, follow the pattern, kill the boss, easy peasy. There's really no challenge there uh, in terms of the bosses. And the, ch the challenge comes from diverse enemies. But other than that, it's a good action game. This has been my afterthought for DMC on the PC. I hope this helps you decide if you want to get this game. 
And uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye. I'm gonna go kill this guy. Actually, you can't kill him. It's the training room. It's just gonna stay here forever, so I'm just gonna sign off.